Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Today we're going to be covering Simple Mining.net Mining Operating System. SMOS is a Linux based operating system used for GPU mining. If you're looking at mining and having a dedicated mining server, this software is pretty good. I find mining on SMOS a lot better for AMD cards than running them on Windows. There's no driver issues with AMD graphics cards and the overclocking functionality works very well. Let's go through what SMOS is all about. So you've got a Linux based operating system that gets installed onto a flash drive. It doesn't need as much resources as Windows. So we could run a mining server with 4 gigs of memory and a Celeron CPU. All you need is a flash drive that is at least 8 gigs. Let's go through some of the functionality of SMOS. Monitoring your rigs is done via the simplemining.net website. It gives you all the details you need from your mining rig. SMOS also gives you the details of your rig information, hardware details, hash rate and stats of your mining server. Looking at the graph, you can get your power consumption, your temps, your fan speeds and your hash rate of your mining rigs. As I said before, I use simple mining with my AMD cards which has been running very stable for the last few months. List of functionality, you've got your cloud dashboard, your overclocking and undervolting on NVIDIA and AMG GPUs. Automatic updates that gives you access to newer features. Summary panel that gives you an idea about your hash rate, wattage, temperature and problems in your mining groups or farms. It keeps the historical statistics for two years for your account on your mining rigs. You can mine multiple algorithms with SMOS. You can create and assign rigs to group configurations with the same mining options. SMOS does support newer GPUs like the 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080 and 3090. This software is good if you have about 6 graphics cards in a mining rig because it picks it up as one rig. And the first 30 days are free to test. What we will be doing in this video is we're going to create an account and download and install the SMOS operating system onto a flash drive to set up a mining rig. First off, we need to register a profile, your email address, passwords and repeat password. I read and accept and register. Once you've registered your profile, all we need to do is download the operating system image file. So the image file is going to depend on which graphics cards you have. Okay, so we've got the older version, which is a more stable version, but doesn't support the newer cards. Then we've got the newer version, which is 5.4.52.10. So let's download the newer version. We're downloading the newer version to future-proof our mining server in case we get the 3060-3070s. To write our image file to flash drive, we're going to be using Belina Etcher. I will leave the link in the description below for easy downloading. So we're going to click on Download. Once the software has been downloaded, we're going to Install. Once the software has been installed, select your image file. Select the target, which is your flash drive. And select flash. As you can see that the image file is about 5.45 gigs. So an 8 gig flash drive should be sufficient. Be right back while the image file gets written to the flash drive. Once your flash drive has been created, we need to click, we need to close our software. We need to unplug our flash drive.
plug your flash drive back in. Open up the text file on the partition. And where it says user email address, that's the email address that you use to register your profile on SMOS or simplemining.net. We're going to be using the network cable on our mining server, so we won't be setting up our Wi-Fi connection. This is the only thing that we need to change, which is your registered email address on simplemining.net. So let's put that in. Don't forget to save the text file once you've added your registered email address. Once your file has been saved, all you do is plug and configure your mining server on what coin you're going to be using and what mining software you're going to be using. We'll cover that in our next video. Hope you enjoyed the video and that it was informative. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.